Okay, so we have created our HTML form here and determined that the data has been processed through the post variable when our form has been submitted. The next thing I'll do is just check some conditions on this just for the sake of the tutorial. I'll say is the string length. No, first of all, I'll check for existence. So if name and message, this is just saying does this exist and does this exist because as long as they do, they will always have a true value. And we are using the AND operator and here which says is this true and is this true. If this is true, we will execute the code here. Otherwise, I want to kill this script and I'll say You must enter a name and message. And maybe just underline that for effect. And inside our block of the code, if this is true, we will perform another check. So here we have checked with an existence check. Now here, what we will do is run another check. How can I word it? I'll do a length check. So I'll comment this as length check. We will say name or rather the length of the string using the string length function. We check if the string length function of name is greater, no lesser or equal to our max length which is 20. We can have any number here. And the string length of message is lesser or equal to 300 characters. Obviously, you can have any number here too. Then we will execute this block of code. Otherwise, we will say max length for name is 20. and max length for message is 300. Obviously a good thing to do is to store 320 in variables. Let's set them here. So you can see name len equals 20 and you can say message len equals to 300. Then what you can do is incorporate this here. So name len there, oops so name len there and here you could say oh let's put that back and here you can say message len down here to replace these so this so these will be dynamically replaced if you are performing this check so here you say message len so let's test this out the name len is maximum 20 characters so here we can only enter a maximum of 20 characters So Alex here. In message, I'll enter some text more than 300 characters long. I'll just copy paste this along. That should be more than 300 characters now. So if I click on send me this button, we get the message. The max length of the name is 20. That's the variable that's been put here. And the maximum length for this is 300. And that another variable that's taken from here. We're taking the check and echoing out this variable as well. Presuming that everything is okay, we are going to get the email sent to the user. I keep stressing this. It's the address here and we've already got our subject line here. Perhaps we could bring these down here. But there's no point setting a variable if the email is not ready to send. So this is a set of variables. We also have the, uh, we could say, from, but this is similar to the email address. We got the name already and all we really need is the message, which is again here. We also need some header information, which I'll show you soon, but I'll head straight to the mail function. The mail function is as follows. 
mail and the first variable you need to include is who this message is to. So I'll type to. Then the subject of the email which is just subject. It's here. Then we have the body of the email. So body. Here we will say body equals the following. This is an email from name. So we have included the name inside the body of the email. Uh, then just use backslash n which is new line. So that's two new lines. Next we will echo out the message which will be included in this. So our body consists of a generic message here. The user's name that we have processed in the form and then the two new lines and the next we have entered the message that has been entered in our form here okay so let's get rid of these that looks good to go as a mail function you may think how that would work but sending email PHP is quite easy But when we do actually send the email, we can see that there are some problems. We've got a warning. The mail function, send mail from, is not set in php.ini or custom from, header missing. I have not set the send mail from in my ini. I missed that. So I'll do it manually. After we have done this, we'll run into another error as well. I will teach you how to fix it but in the next part of the video. In the next part, we'll deal with any more errors we get after that. So join me in the next part. Bye for now. This is Ivan Verki, dubbing for the Spoken Tutorial Project.